I graduated here, Cardinal Herrera Ceu, in 2008. And then I went to do a general internship in Barcelona, in the Universitat Autonoma. After that, I went to UK, to London, to do an anesthesia internship. Then I followed with a residency in anesthesia, in anesthesia and analgesia. I started a residency also in the same institution, the Royal Vet College. And I wanted to know a little bit more about chronic pain. And I decided to do a PhD in neuropathic pain with docs. And after that, uh, now I'm working towards my, my diploma, the European College of Veterinary Anesthesia and Analgesia. And so far I'm working at uh, the Royal Veterinary College as well, uh, as a lecturer there. It all started here where I was a student, because the anesthesia service here was quite powerful, so I really like it. And also I think anesthesia is one of the most complete specialties because you have to always try to get the patient, uh, you have to try to maintain the homeostasis of the patient. You follow him up from the beginning, from the time that you inject the pre-medication until the patient recovers and comes back to normal life. And you also have to have a knowledge of all the specialties. You have to know what's happening with the patient, so you need to know about internal medicine, uh, you need to uh, assess the images, all the diagnostic tests, and you need to know about what surgeons are, go are gonna do. Uh, so yeah, because of this, I think it's quite complete and I really like it. One of the most important things as well is the pain control, the pain treatment, pain evaluation and diagnostics. That is one of my main research interests. It all starts because neuropathic pain is, is also a big problem in, in human patients and it's very difficult to treat and very difficult to diagnose and especially in veterinary patients it's not much that we know about it. And they cannot communicate what they feel, therefore it's even more difficult to, to assess. Basically what I've tried to do is to try to come up with a protocol in order to evaluate and assess pain from neuropathic origin and, and try to treat with Basically all is extrapolated, so it's translational research because all we can apply from humans, we can apply to our veterinary patients, but in the other way around, we can also use our patients to do research and then apply uh, what we find in, in people. So it's uh, one health medicine that we will, we will call. The idea was because my colleagues already started the anatomical study, so it was the, the fact that we can actually now do the, the clinical research with patients and try and see how we can control the pain in, this, in these patients. Uh, so basically what we tend to do now is to move to local anesthesia instead of giving analgesics systemically because it has real advantages. We decrease the side effects, the recovery normally is quicker, uh, patients recover very well and it's not only what we can see but what can also our technicians and nurses can see in works and, and we can discharge patients uh, early as well. So it's a real advantage. It could be like an alternative for other local techniques as well such as the epidural anesthesia. To work with Dr. Redondo is, is a real pleasure for me because I started loving anesthesia here in this place where uh, he taught me everything that I know from the basics and then he, he also helped me to progress in my career. So it's very beautiful now that we can work and collaborate, such a great opportunity. From here I value, well I had such a great time during my years of the veterinary degree. I learned a lot and I think I, it gave me the opportunity to see what, what I wanted to do in future and I have met great people that I still can, can all actually come and work with or collaborate so it's, it's very very good. I, I really uh, enjoyed my time when I was a graduate here. Coming back from many years now I see this university that has progressed a lot. There is a bunch of new, of new people that wants to or is willing to, to improve to make this university better and also I see that there's the same people that I work with that it was great pleasure and I also see that there is um, a willing to do things better and to mimic perhaps another universities around the world. I think the only difference that will be between my university back home in UK and this university will be that obviously the Royal Veterinary College has a history of many many years uh, whereas the uh, veterinary faculty here the Cardinal Herrera Ceu is still very young but it's, there is still the same attitude, the same spirit of improvement. I think I never had myself any objective in life of what I wanted to be. I've always been 
doing things because I think I enjoy what I do and I think it's a good motivation for students. Uh, it's not what you would be in future, it's what, if, whether you enjoy what you're doing. And I really enjoy helping each other, helping our patients, our veterinary patients. And uh, I think this is one of the main objectives in, in life.